Welcome to Rezobiz. I'm going to do a special small series on a uh, well a special wood to me. I call it the church wood and I want to give in this series a little bit of the history of this old wood and show you some of the different guitars that I've uh, made out of it and give some sound samples. Hi I'm Bro with Bro Guitars and welcome to Rezobiz where everything is greater with a resonator. <laughs> Alright, so I have come in contact or was able to purchase uh, through trade uh, some old wood and I would like to, I call it the church wood, it's mahogany and um, it's about, I don't, well I don't know exactly how many years old but roughly ah, 200 years old, uh, maybe even more and you, the, uh, some of this some of the stuff's in a bigger board and then I like a one inch board and then I slab it down and I make it so you can just you know, open up. This is actually the bottom side and the top side and the reason I do that is because it's still keeping the old patina maybe is what you'd call it the old finish that's still in it and it's, I mean I, it's got dirt stain marks I don't know what so on, on one of my guitars that I build out of this I call it the uh, the distressed finish which is this one. Uh, actually, kind of both of them are this way on the, on these. And then I've got a uh, stellar finish that I do where I do a high lacquer, high, high gloss lacquer. But these, uh, these, this wood is so old. I most people like doing it with the distressed finish, and I keep the old, uh, old look in it. And here's the edge of the board, and you can see th where they clamped it on the mill at one point. To cut some of it, some of it's got hand-hewn marks where they used a hand tool to shave off the bark. I don't know. It's 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 pretty much live edge. And I cut this off and I'll use it on the center of the guitar. So let's say you put these two pieces together like this to make make the back, and you, you imagine the shape of the guitar. In it. And then this would be the center piece for the inside of it. And I'll use on the distressed models if you go true distressed. I will use the uh, this piece to uh, do that center strap so it has those old marks. So I save that just to keep that old look in it. So that's actually what's inside of this guitar and uh, this one as well. Uh, both of them are distressed model. Um, so I, I'm trying to just preserve the old uh, nature of this wood. So a little bit of the history on this. I got it from Ron Tipton. If you're familiar with Tipton Steels, I don't I don't remember when he started making these, but they got pretty to be a pretty big deal. And um, I got in contact with him and he was willing to trade some of this church wood for a dobro. And so um, we traded it out and I've I've got enough maybe to make I don't know roughly 20 of these guitars. But the history um, on this stuff is what's so special. He told me um, that he had found a, a guy who um, had it in his barn and, and what that guy had told him is he had gotten out of a church in Indiana, southern Indiana um, that was built in the 1850s and he had just stored it up, stored it up and then when he passed away there was an estate sale and this wood was in that and he got a hold of it and um, did some studying on it there's, there's one of the boards had the uh, mill or the, the the marks from when it was milled and the type of saw that that had cut it and he took it to an old sawyer and they said that the style that it was cut with was not anything that we cut with now and that which was the uh, kind of you can imagine that being that it was cut at least in the 1850s um, but actually the saw that these old sawyers that have re Furbished these old mills and stuff. They looked at it and they said the only kind of saw that would make the marks that had cut this board was from a pit saw uh, type of, of mill, which they they quit making in the early 1800s, as I understand it. And so that kind of dates the wood uh, just with those saw marks. If that all that history is accurate, just the milling process of this wood was done in the early 1800s. The other cool fact about this wood is one of the boards was had to be cut in half 
and when it was cut in half, each board was 16 foot long. So that means it was a 32 foot uh, board, and at both ends it was about 27 inches wide. And that that's a big board. And the reason, the, the I guess, significant thing about that is there's no taper. If there, if it's 32 foot long and no taper at either end, it had to be a huge tree to be able to do that and have that um, that that girth to it. So to grow to be that size, it's also we're talking about like old growth kind of, of, of wood and a tree. So taking that this thing was a, in a church in the 1850s, it had to be huge to be able to get to that size. And so it was likely milled in the early 1800s. Um, this thing could have been easily a sapling in the 1600s. Uh, I don't know how, back, exactly how long it takes uh, mahogany to grow to be a, a giant tree, but this came from a giant tree. So we're talking about old, old wood. And I, I'm so thrilled to be able to make um, instruments out of it. I want to demonstrate uh, some of this. So what, would, uh, what I've done with this is I kept the marks in it. Um, I did, you can see, I, don't, I, I didn't take anything out. I left some of, I've now I've stained some of it. Um, I, I rubbed through some of my finish to give it kind of a worn look, but the, the long, all these long marks and whatever these little weird marks are here, all that stuff was in it. I, I only sanded on the other side, the thickness sanded for the guitar itself um, to make the right, right thickness as I built it. Um, some of them, uh, on the, like on the top, I might have added some of my own marks just to keep it, I, I want it to be even, kind of distressed it a little bit more. But this thing is, is entirely made out of this church wood. The neck is, is a three-piece neck. It's all the church wood, the back, the sides, the top. The only thing it's not, even the, the sound post and the bracing on the inside is church wood. The only thing it's not is the fretboard. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Fretboard and obviously the hardware. And so on the distress models that I make, uh, if you want a, a true distressed model, that's I'd make it out of entirely the church wood, the kerfing, everything on the inside. Um, there's a center, there's the, the main brace um, for the top. That's actually still, um, that's not, that's that's a birch um, for, for the structure of the guitar on the top. That actually is not um, the mahogany, but the rest of it is. Same thing with this one, but this one has binding on it. Uh, a little bit of maple binding. Customer wanted that. I, I want to go ahead and show you uh, little differences in what's what I'm excited about with these is this one's got F holes and a sound forward hole and I just want to demonstrate the, the difference in the sound so this is my um, what I call standard body which is a little bit deeper than than most um, and then this is also a deep body the difference in the two is a sound forward hole and F holes this one's more more standard really. This is number one that I ever built. Um, loved the guitar when I built it, but um, you know I had other guitars I liked pretty well too. And then after it settled in and realized, oh I'm a guitar now. The sound sweetened up on it, and I fell in love with this guitar. And it almost got sold, and when the guy didn't jump on it right away, I took it off the market and ended up keeping it for myself. Um, that's number, I think I told somebody it was number 47. I guess it's number 43. So of my guitars, this is the first one I ever kept. The other thing I do, and I don't know if you can see in there, um, but it has a, a sticker that has the label for the church wood. It has a picture of a church in there, and... It has the number, serial number on it. So this is number one. And every one of the Churchwoods will have that. Here is, this will be number five. And this one has the sound forward hole on it. It's all mahogany, uh, Churchwood mahogany. So the sick come out of the same wood. Even this uh, wooden palm rest is Churchwood mahogany. The only thing is not is just the fretboard. And let's see if we can hear the difference in the sound of this.
right, well, I hope uh, you enjoyed that. And um, I've got two other samples of both those guitars from somebody who's a lot better playing than I am. Hope you even enjoy this. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And look forward for a video next week. Thank you for watching.